Hi Sagittarius, this is your general reading for the month of November. Um, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I am Goddess Quita, or you can call me Quita, either one would do an answer to both. This will be posted on both of my channels, Trusted Gem and Spiritual Justice Gem. I do have killing candles for $20, anything that you need healed. I mainly focus on mental illnesses, but if you need love healing, clear, um, just, you know, if you have a lot of confusion, memory healing, um, just, you know, dealing with the left and right brain, that type of healing, all that stuff is available. Um, I will be posting, um, I will be getting a website soon. I'm working on that. So you guys can just go click on the website, you guys. I'm going to make it easier for you guys. I love you guys so much. And I do want everybody to have a healed mindset of Christ conscious. Christ conscious is about healing and ascending. So Sagittarius, we're going to get straight into your reading. Um, for the um, for the current placement, um, you have six of swords. Uh, crossing that is the world. Uh, your recent past, you had uh, the devil card. Your near future is seven of pentacles. In your subconscious mind, it's the nine of cups. In your conscious mind, it's the emperor. In your um, advice placement is the hangman. In your auto influence, it's the knight of wands. And it is the three of pentacles in your hopes and fears. And in your outcome for November is this two of cups. Yay, Sagittarius. This energy looks so good besides the devil part. But, you know, we can get clarity on that why um, that is in your recent past. And, yeah, it's, it looks like you're very stable. You got the emperor in your conscious mind. Very stable, very grounded. Got all your stuff, all your, like, the emperor has his shit together. And the Lord is telling me, um, because I have this Aries in the background. So, you're definitely giving uh, rising from the ashes, Phoenix. Definitely stability, definitely fiery energy. But it's that, you know, it's that, that mature Aries energy. It's that mature um, energy that I'm getting, like... <laughs> I've been doing this. I'm on my shit. You know, <laughs> just a uh, very subtle confidence. Um, it's not like boastful confidence. You know, young people usually they oh I got this. I got this fine nails body. You know, y yours is very subtle. Like I've been had this fine nails body. I just kept working on it. You know, <laughs> I just maintain it. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm getting here, Sagittarius. Um, very beautiful energy in your nine of cups. Um, in your subconscious mind, you're very fulfilled. You're working on your wishes, working on your dreams. Um, not only are you working on them, that you don't accomplish some of them, um, because you do have the Empress to complement that energy. That is very beautiful. Um, so let's get straight into it. I know I gave you a little background, but that is such beautiful. I just had to. It spoke to me. Um, so I had to to um, elaborate on that energy. Yeah, your fruits is coming. Oh Lord Jesus, there is. <laughs> Now, let me find out you a master manifestor too, Sagittarius. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to a, one of them mature Sagittarius. One of them, you know. <laughs> I'm picking up a lot of masculine energy, but you could be a female as well. But I'm picking up more male energy. Like, you on your shit. Like, uh, <laughs> nobody can't tell you Nathaniel. And if they do, they better come correct with trying to, you know, influence you in some type of way. Because you on your shit. Like... And you're watching the fruits of your labor coming because I can see the seven of pentacles here. It's letting me know that you're having success. You're you're having fruits from your labor. You put so much in and you're getting so much out and you're working on yourself. You got a lot of greenery in this seven of pentacles card. I'm doing a more of an oracle reading right now, but um yeah, you got a lot of greenery in this card. Um apples and pomegranates are growing on the trees. Yeah, you're getting a lot of success. But um, for some reason, spirit wants you to retreat and to uh, just uh, not put yourself in a mental prison, but just enjoy yourself. Just take a break from everything and just uh, they, they're trying to show you something within yourself. So let's just get into this. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> Child. You know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I know my voice is probably a little cracky and a little lower. It's just because, child, where I live at, this weather is, <laughs> it don't know whether it want to be hot, cold. One minute is like, we go through so many fluctuations. So, I'm just cleaning these next cards that I'm using to clarify each and every one of these. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right Sachi. so now we got the clarify this clean 
Okay, why is uh, it's something that you need to complete. That's why it's something you're fulfilled, but it's something else because you just got the nine of cups. You don't have the ten of cups. It's something else you're missing. That's what I'm picking up here, Sagittarius. It's something else that you're missing. It's not like uh, like it's it's almost like a void. Um, but not quite a void. It's just like okay, I got everything, but. Uh, just it, it could be a little bit better you know what I mean it's not like you're complaining but you you know it could be a little bit better and I'm, I'm picking up that it might be a love interest it might be a partner it might be someone to compliment everything that you have going on with yourself yeah so why is this a devil card in Sagittarius uh, recent past why is this devil card here it's the devil card I hope I, I think I said death but it's the devil card why is this devil card here because something unexpected happened. What the hell unexpected happened? Some kind of deception or temptation happened. Um, it caused... So this is what spirit wants you to go in to... to, to I, th I think it's something within yourself that needs to be healed. That's what makes you not be in this Ten of Cups energy. Because I feel like you have everything. But what, what it's something that needs to be healed inside of you that... That causes you some type of deceit when it within yourself. It's like you don't mean to lie to yourself or deny something, but it's like you can't see something for what it is. You know, you have you have some kind of um, some kind of veil over uh, your third eye where you can't see this particular thing that needs to be healed, and that's why you got angry because it was some kind of deception or some type of temptation that happened. And it causes it causes your inner child to hurt. It causes your ego to hurt a little bit because um, it's some kind of deception here. What is this deception? Definitely um, something to do with a partner, with a twin flame, with a twin flames that come out. So. Oh. So it's either you played a trick on your mind or someone played a trick on your mind. You feel like somebody, <laughs> again, spirit is actually to go within to get clarity. Yeah, because somebody tried to trigger you about your twin or about someone that you're involved with that's a soulmate that feels like a twin flame connection. It could be very well a twin flame connection because it did come out. And you do have a cup, ten of cups, two of cups as your outcome for November. So it's some kind of deception that caused you to be triggered but i feel like i don't it's 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 from the outside uh it was an outside influence that got into uh the way you view things the way you view this relationship and i think it put you in a mindset of being um triggered and this revealed something that needs to be healed it's something inside yourself that needs to be healed because something outside of you causes caused this to happen um, and it wasn't by accident. It's it's to it's to it's triggered you to show you what you need to heal. It's something within yourself. So it's something that you got to figure out. I can't really think. I can't figure it out. But I, I think spirit wants you to go on that solo journey to figure that out for yourself. I think I really do. So let's move on. Why is the six of swords and the world card is here for? Uh, why is the six of swords? Uh, why is the world card crossing the six of swords and why the six of swords is here? Holy Spirit for the Sagittarius energy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're ready. You 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 had to you got to it, it's something within your twin you may be in the twin flame journey, Sagittarius. Yeah, it's some type of toxicity or some type of pattern here that had to be that needs to be broken within your union. If you're in the twin flame union, it's some kind of pattern that had to be broken. It's something that needs to be healed. And I think it's something within yourself. It, it's not showing me something within the part. It's in within a partnership because it takes two people to be in the partnership. But I get it. I get that it is something that has to do with um some kind of bond within yourself, some kind of toxicity that you're not seeing. Something toxic here that you're not seeing within yourself. And it's, it's some kind of deception that's going on within your within your um uh subconscious mind here. With what well, within I don't want to say your subconscious, within your gut feeling. I feel like you may have been a person that had a, a solar plexus wounding or a root chakra wounding and that that's just, that that is what needs to be healed. 
Uh huh. Cause you're trying to figure out how to get across, get over this hurdle. You feel like there's something a hurdle here, but I'm not seeing a hurdle. I'm not seeing a hurdle. I think yeah, it's a deception. You're being deceived by something. It keep coming out. What? A... Yes, you want to go back to your soft no. That's what's here. You keep. You keep getting to see by something that's that comforts you that that's in your south no energy. It's something that's in your south no energy that you keep clinging on to that 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 keeps you from from ultimately um either speaking your truth or saying something. Yes, yeah, spirit say that you need to, your comfort zone is not be, is not being um in 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 your higher self. Your comfort zone is not being um how can I put this? It's not being activated from a higher consciousness. Your comfort zone is like being logical about everything. Logical. If I'm like you disregard your feelings and you disregard your higher self and you just go logical about everything. And I feel like uh, this union is pushing you to be more uh, uh, to be more of um higher consciousness more uh walking in your higher self like you have to believe that you deserve this that you're that that's your person and you know that's your person but you have this energy within yourself like i don't deserve him or i don't deserve her like i i know i got all this going on i'm a great person i have all this going on this person truly loves me but i don't feel like you feel like you're loved i don't feel like you feel like you're enough i feel like that you're so you're so used to being so logical about things and moving the way you to to move differently than what you used to, what you're used to is causing you disarmory and trigger. Like right now, you're your wor own worst critic. You're your own worst enemy. Um, you could be getting some kind of outflop. outflop oh yeah, yeah. Somebody is somebody is uh, put, uh making you something within yourself within your uh this twin flame union is making. You it put put you in disharmony, triggers and conflict, rejection. But it's because you're hooked to some kind of debt. Um, somebody's hooking your career, your contract, some, to some kind of debt contract. Yeah, like it's like you like being in this contract is almost like um, it's like a a a, a a a a a how can I put it? This is your wish fulfillment, but it's make is making you feel like I have to be this. Like I'm caged into doing this, and you have free will, baby. You have free will if you want to go outside this contract um you can but i mean this is what you're here for it's like something with yeah you need to be transformed that's what spirit said needs something needs to be transformed yes it's a breakthrough that's going to happen for you soon sagittarius it's definitely a breakthrough that's going to happen and then you're going to start seeing things from a new perspective but you do need to activate your higher self and then that'll put you at ease because i feel like you can't navigate you cannot navigate just um, moving off emotions or moving off logic or moving off just creativity. You definitely need your higher self to guide you through these things because it's some kind of deceit that is around you or within you that you're not seeing and it's causing you to be triggered. And what you need to learn how to do is rely on your higher self. This is why the hangman card is here. It makes so much sense now. The hangman card is here because Sagittarius, you need to learn how to chill and just, just be to yourself sometimes just to be chilly and relax and not be around nobody, not even your twin, because I feel like spirit is trying to show you something. It's something, It's some. they're telling me it's some kind of power that you possess that you're not seeing. It's some kind of power, some kind of something within you that you possess, but they're telling me it's power that you're not seeing and that you need to activate that in order to move towards the thing, to, in order to get your complete wish fulfillment. It's already here, but in order for you to grasp it, to you, if you, if you, if you, um, don't have self-confidence or you have confidence, but not in this, it, it, like, Twin flame unions can be so tricky because one twin can be so spiritual and they seem like they got everything going. And m most of the time, that's the higher twin. And the reason why the higher twin is in this position is because they learned how to depend on the most high God and their higher self, not their own understanding. Because if you go off your own understanding of things, it can lead you astray. But if you if you go if you continue to turn to a higher power like Lord Jesus or uh, 
what do I need to do? Holy Spirit, lead me, guide me, uh, protect me. Let me know where, which way to go, which direction. I, I feel, I feel like you need higher. You need to constantly higher uh, activate your higher self every day, every day, every day. You need to depend on your conscience, on your higher self, until you get into the habit of praying, until you get into the habit of contacting your angels. It's a, it's a, it's a like innate ability, almost like you, like it's like you need to activate. It's already innate to you, but you need to activate this innateness you need to activate the angels for you you need to activate the angel the ancestors you need to always activate it every day every day and that's one thing in my spiritual journey that i have learned i had a bad habit of not praying and just doing things on my own i i used to have this same wounded and it comes from not being able to trust people not being able to see good in people and what god is trying to teach you is how, how to rise above people because god is in everyone and everything but one thing god is too is above everything and everyone too so you have to understand that too so if when you know that humans are going to be humans and people are going to be people and you understand human behavior then you understand that there's a higher power and i already know you believe in a higher power but you need to tap into that every day every second of the day if you can just you know I Higher uh, self, higher self activation. If you have something that can, like I always have something that remind me to pray. I have something that remind me when I'm in warfare that you're beautiful, that you're loved. I always have these mantras, these things around me. And now that I manifest this to be around me every day, I get, okay, you're beautiful. You're, okay, you're fucking up. You need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. And that is one of the most things that the higher twin I, I, it's not that they didn't go through what they what you went through they went through it but i went through it by myself like nobody showed me but spirit i tapped into spirit so much and i sat there with, like i literally would eat bread and water for 10 hours a day just to sit with spirit they had to pry me <laughs> pry me away from them and like go live no we, we we wanted you to activate your higher self so you can guide yourself through, so we can guide you through our life and that's exactly what spirit is, is saying here Higher activation every day. Higher self activation every day is a must. And how do you do that? Prayer, meditation, not always uh, using your mind because th that's how you grow older. The faster that you, you know, you're processing things and doing this, that's how you age so quickly. Your body may look young, but your spirit could be such an old, like just old and ragged and stuck in your ways. And how you become in that lighthearted energy, that high, that higher energy, is that you activate your God presence. And how you do that, you feed yourself mantras. You you ask the angels for guidance. You look for guidance in your your environment. Like I just seen seventeen seventeen. That lets me know I have to type in the spirit. They have a message for me. And that's is simply what it's doing. It's a high. Is you're walking like literally. I walk on my higher self. And, and when I when people are even against me and doing warfare, it's always I get messages no matter what because I've already activate that connection with the divine that i want to walk in my higher self i know this is my purpose to walk in my higher self i know i'm called at this time to do such and so what spirit is saying that's what they need you to do always connect with your angels always connect with your ancestors always you have to set up yourself in a way with the divine that nobody can fuck with it and when there's when there's been when it's being fucked with that your angels and your ancestors is worn on your behalf you get what i'm saying so yeah, Sagittarius. Oh, <laughs> you know I know something about that. I know a lot about that because baby, I go through warfare all the time, all the time. And I'll be like, <laughs> get your people. They so evil. Like Lord, you made us all. Like why they on me? Ugh. Get these dusties away. <laughs> and you know I can be bougie with my ancestors, y'all. And people take it so so wrong but it's just like you know once you become in your higher self it's like oh my god and people think you're narcissistic or something like that but it's not i love people i love to get information but it's just like keep your filthy energy off me oh this is not my fucking energy i'm beautiful i'm a goddess i am beautiful and full of love and light and that's just i want to glow but i don't want your filthy hands on fucking up my glow <laughs> you know what I mean? and that's how i be in like with my ancestors and my angels i get to be my authentic self all around and it's not that you can't be your real self in real life, but a lot of times we have to learn how to maneuver being our real self. A lot of times I can't be it when I'm talking. It's just like this. 
you have seven kids. I have seven kids. I can't. I have to be a different version of myself with each one of them because they are. They have different personalities, different perspectives, and different thing, ways they they you know understand things. And that's the same thing. If I go to the the DMV, I can't be bringing stuff for social security to the DMV. You know, they need you know they need the, my license, my license number, you know my 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 mail and stuff like that. They don't need what, what I've been diagnosed with. Well, you know they. They don't need the social security application that's the same thing it's the same concept you have to tap into spirit so that you can be your authentic self and then you can go maneuver out through life that is like your higher guide when you tap into your higher self it's like okay you can see above all then, then that's how you get a god perspective about everything if you want oh she do what she do higher self activation how she go like that high yourself activation how she maneuver like that high yourself activation how she focus on her gifts like that high yourself activation that's all it is and i constantly do it i, I, be, I the mantras that's what help you get there you know praying that's what help you get that manifestation. That's what help you get in there. Read your Bible. That's all help you get there. Whatever you identify with on your journey. Like I started off um, in church, just being uh, um, in church and just being an usher, being saved, Holy Ghost filled, all that. And then I start, went from that when I got older. I went from um, that and then I went to when I got into my um, early 20s to being a white witch. And I didn't understand it. And, and I just started to follow up my higher self. Uh, ever since I had the Holy Spirit, I've always been activated because before I had the Holy Spirit, I was just like, dang, what, what, what? You may need to tarry because I, I, the, one, the way I got a Holy Ghost feel, I tarried. Uh, they tarry with me. And then the moment that they tarry, they tarry for me like four or five hours for like three days straight. And I was like, then then my, my bishop was like, you know, you know, Shaquita, it's not just going to fall down on you. you know? It's not like that. It's not like something, you know, like I was looking, I don't know what I was thinking. I was looking for it. Our mind is so carnal. It, it, it. It, uh, it, it and it happened like months later where I like I like I was just I just let go of everything of myself of being in control I just let go of everything and I just broke out with the Holy Spirit I just broke out I was dancing they said I was over church, all over the church and I couldn't remember I just remember being feeling so good so free so beautiful just crying and just like oh my god like just feeling so renewed like I'm a new person like I'm a new being and that's how I activated my higher self initially not even unconsciously i had my pa my pastor when i was 16 years old tarry with me he tarried with me i so i'm trying to tell you they tarried with me and my sister it was a bunch of us it wasn't just me by myself it was a bunch of us in church and what they call a terry and terry service and that's what it is it, high, it activates your higher self they don't use those terms because we you know we was from slavery and you know all of that stuff and so they did it in a religious way, not knowing that that's higher self activation. Your Holy Spirit is just your higher self. <laughs> and everybody has a higher self. Um, and that uh, your higher self is what taps you in to the higher conscious, which is leading you, guiding you. And so just like they say is one um, holy grail, one holy thing for everybody. And it's true. It's just, it's just true. That's true. And so we was all in there and they were sitting in there. My pastor, I remember him blatantly. He was like, it, it, my bishop, I remember, but he was like, you know, it's not just going to fall on you. You know, you, you got to, you got to open up your heart. You got to open up your mind. It's not just going to fall on you. So this thing is not carnal and carnal is very spiritual. And when you, when you learn to let go and stop trying to be in control of everything, that's when you can really let the Holy Spirit in. That's why it's hard for narcissists and demonic people to even get to that point where they activate their higher self in a in a higher way in a good conscious way is because they have to first heal themselves of what made them sick and in and, 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 and order to do that you have to be like nothing in life is working for me your life has to be ucked up my life was ucked up i was getting abused and stuff but I had this 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 willingness to 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 know why everything it is why this and why that I had this willingness to know and then my I was so carnal minded at the time trying to figure out spiritual stuff and the only way I spirit figured out spiritual stuff is after I received the Holy Spirit and what you I think why spirit wants you by yourself so he could tarry with 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 with, with your mind with your body you need to learn to not be try to be in so in control all the time I'm trying to tell you how you activate your higher self is by constantly doing it every day every day every day um i had people to help me terry and that's a beautiful thing 
uh, when somebody uh, tarried it with you, and especially like what was it? On one on one day, we first day we was like three or four hours. Second day it was like three or four hours. That last day, baby, we was in that twelve hours, and I didn't receive the Holy Spirit until like a month or two later. And that's when my higher act, my higher self activation. And that's when they told me like I didn't speak in tongues. I had a very special gift that I, I like my tears mean something to God when I cry and things like that. I just cry and and they and everybody even this little boy he said girl you like you was glowing he was like you glowing and that's when he fell in love with me he called himself liking me i was like 16 at the time he was like 10 i'm like blue boy if you don't go somewhere but um that after then i had i had so many people started loving me in a different way and sending me in a different light they was like and then my bishop was like, you go ahead, girl. Like, they were just so happy, like, that I uh, accomplished that. Um, accomplish, accomplishing, uh, activating your higher self in a very high, uh, in a, in a, in a, with the, the Holy Spirit in a very high way is very, um, very rare. A lot of people speak, like, fake speak in tongues and, speak, and fake do all this. I didn't speak in tongues. I never spoken in tongues. I never spoken another tongue or nothing like that. I cried. And then that's when my bishop and the woman of God told me I had this very special gift that um, few people have that type of um, gift from the Holy Spirit. I want I cry. God don't play about my tears. Um, and then um, another thing um, is something else they told me, but they're not telling me to share that right now. But that I was activated through tears I would cry 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 just cry all the time like the whole time afterwards I was crying and my hands were shaking my body was shaking and then they was asking me they was like because you will you was throwing your bank yourself everywhere because what you what you're doing what you're going through is really a splitting uh, a, a splitting of um of everything you've been conditioned to be to in your your spirit is you're being broken into to be poured into you get what I'm saying like if you buy a picture, you know, you can't fill the picture up because it's closed. Everything is in there. But when you open the top of the picture, then you can fill something up. If you open and if you take the, the bigger top, the bigger part of the picture, clean it out, you know, wash it out. And then you can fill it with whatever you want. And that's that's the same concept. And then you put it back on. And now that picture is filled up. Until you know you keep pointing to everybody's cup. That's why he said he get make your cup overflow because the Holy Spirit is is a, regen a regeneration, a regenerator, and they'll have they'll fill you back up. They'll break you open again. You're gonna go through this <laughs> throughout life. I go through this all the time where I have to like God's like you're not doing this. You could have done this better. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I thought I was yeah, but you have to be reactivated. And I feel like this is your first activation. And then when you go through your next activation, you 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 will know. You will know. You'll go like. Okay, I gotta get this. You feel me? Sagittarius, you're gonna be all right. I promise you, baby. You're gonna be all right. Okay. Holy Spirit, why is this night of ones here in the outside influences for Sagittarius? Why is this night of ones here? Somebody outside you had a breakthrough with confusion and illusion as well. I feel like not only were you going through this, I feel like the conscious collective was going through this, some kind of uh either initiation or it could be something from you know these karmas like they do all kind of crazy shit yep yep this person broke free from confusion and illusion and started loving on themselves and they, they see the disharmony and the triggers and the patterns and and this person whoever you're connected with started back uh being uh, activated yeah i had to be reactivated as well because they had shut down they had did um spells where they could shut down I, and i put that out the cia where they split your consciousness and you have multiple personalities but what they did this time was shut down your intuition which is your right side of your brain your creativity your intuition and they'll shut that down uh spiritual spot this is a lot of them uh, it don't necessarily have to be connected to the cia but it's very real that somebody can disconnect you from on your higher self and you have to reactivate it um and that's what's going on that's what's that's what's went on with in some, with, with someone with your outer influences and what you were hoping for is mastery mastery with this two of cups with this uh twin flame romantic relationship and the only way you're going to get mastery is by high yourself activation knowing what to do when to do it how to do it ain't nothing to it but to do it god just react this message is very clear you just need to react there re reactivate your higher self and then you'll be back on track <laughs> a lot of times we get deactivated um it could be you know 
most of the time deactivation happen when you need to be uh either activated on the higher conscious and they have to deactivate you let you know hey ooh, you know you need to go to a next level or it could be karmics in this particular way you need to be reactivated because um of karmics and plus you need to uh they need to, you to be on a higher level so it's both you're going through both at the same time they need you to in a higher consciousness than what you're usually in and since you're in this so you understand that this twin flame connection is real um and you're trying to master it then you need to really stick to your guns when it comes to uh spiritual aspects of your life i feel like something is telling me that you have money you have stability so and you 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 can maintain that i trust me i do it all the time you have to maintain that part and deal with spiritual activation you have to do both and i, I um and that's what the it's a balance between the spiritual and the uh physical world and the more you do it it's like it, at first it seems so daunting i'm not even gonna hold you but after the first like after you figure out what's going on you go like, oh, okay 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 like you get a day or two of crying and being to yourself and then just being withdrawn then you be like oh okay then it becomes like innate it's almost like oh i gotta do this or this and that and it'll just like you know you'll just be like gravitated towards whatever you need it'll come effortlessly is what i'm trying to say so this this by the, november the end of this connection you will have mastered this connection and i uh it's 30 30 on here i'm out sagittarius much love baby